guys and thank you for tuning in all right guys so let's jump right into today's daily energy happy cinco de mayo everybody if you guys have a birthday today happy birthday but let's see what's going on now this will be for all signs guys at the end you could do a pick a card to get some personalized guidance okay So we have three cards pop out so far. So we have the Page of Swords reversed, Knight of Swords reversed, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So it's showing that there's something a person may not be going towards right now. Um, and it could be something because it's seen as like reckless or something where a person doesn't have enough information to keep going with something. But I see that there could be people who are cutting off communication kind of in like a harsh way. And there's a sense of needing to be patient. Now it shows something was leaving you guys stuck. And this is something that was considered an illusion. So there is something good coming in. There is going to be something worth celebrating today. But you're going to be taking a whole new chapter in life. This is going to be something that you probably haven't dabbled in before. Or maybe it's something that you've spoken about doing, but you haven't actually gotten around to it. Why is this page of swords here? We have the king of swords. So for some of you, this could have to do with the Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But I feel like you're just being very logical with the approach that you're taking. You're not letting your feelings or emotions get in the way of this new thing. And maybe that's what the conflict is within itself. We have the knight of wands. Let's pull one more. And we have the eight of cups. So... With this Knight of Wands, this could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius energy, but I feel like there is something that you guys are fighting for. There's something that you're passionate about. There's something that you love, and you're trying to be patient in all of this because you know you have to walk away from something. Now, what's tough is this is something that was meant to be in your life. This is something that's going to be very strong and incredible for you. But there is a lot of internalized struggle when it comes to this. Or maybe there's people around you arguing with you, um, you know, making you have to constantly defend yourself. But from what I see, there's something in your life that's blocking you. And you can't be who you genuinely are with this in your life. And now there's going to be a huge change, a huge bullet that you kind of, in this case, I don't even want to say you guys dodge a bullet. I feel like you kind of just roll with it. Okay. You roll with the punches on this one. Um, and with whatever change that comes in, it's going to be something that makes you or someone around you incredibly happy, but someone's just not happy to see this happen. Someone feels cheated by this. Okay. All right. So think of a card guys, one, two, or three. Now, I always say listen to all three cards because it will still give you advice for the day, but pay most attention to yours. And this deck, guys, is Light Seer's Tower, okay? Alright, so think of a card one, two, or three. We have one, two, and three. All right, guys. So if you chose card number one, you have the full card in the reverse. So again, realizing that if you were to continue on a certain path, that there would just be a lot of road bumps that are created in your life. Now, there is something here that you guys do feel very passionate about. Okay, but there's still something that you're dealing with that you don't quite have the passion for anymore. Something that isn't quite working out. Something where uh, maybe you're having a harsh sense of communication with someone else. Why is this full card reversed? We have the lover's card. And we have the eight of cups in the reverse. So something that was closely tied to you guys is going to want to come back into your life today. Not a good idea. Okay, this is something that your soul feels uncomfortable with, but whether it's you or someone around you, someone's still putting effort in this, and it's something that just needs to be closed out. Okay, now if you guys chose card number two, we have the page of cups. So this talks about an offer that looks good, sounds good. So let's see why it's here. For some of you, this could have to do with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. We have the two of swords, and we have the strength card. Okay. So there's something here that you guys are actually meant to accept, but there's something that mentally is holding you back. There's something that's keeping you stagnant. So you're going to be offered something that you've really been desiring. So it's just a matter of do I take this or do I not? So someone is truly stuck between a rock and a hard place. And I honestly sense um, a sense of guilt 
because someone again someone feels cheated or someone looks at you as like manipulative or untrustworthy for doing this but it's something that you genuinely want okay you're just dealing with karmic things right now that are not meant to be successful so that's something that you have to cut out so you can get everything that it is that you want okay guys all right, so card number three, we have the emperor. So the emperor is going to be someone who makes decisions based off of their past life experiences. It's a decision that's made in a very, you know, wise way. It's well thought out. It's someone who does what's right, not necessarily what's easiest. So why is this emperor here? All right, we have the ace of wands in the reverse. And we have the world card in the reverse. So a mature decision needs to be made today. There's just something that's no longer being built in a cohesive manner. It's something that you guys know isn't for you anymore. It's something that mentally, honestly, you're past it. But I feel like this is tough because there may have been a lot of passion in this before. There may have been a lot of effort that was put in this before. Um, but I just don't see this as something that you want to keep in your life. I see something making you guys hesitate to let it go, but it's not something that's working anymore. Okay, this could have to do with work as well. Maybe you weren't making money in a specific way, so now you're going to change, you know, route with what you do with work. All right, guys. So thank you for tuning in. If you guys want to make a donation, everything is in the description below. If you guys need a personal reading, all of that is there as well. But I love you guys so much. Take care.